Hello everybody, or everybody that cares anyway. Right, well, I thought I'd done one of these videos before and it turns out I haven't, so this is why I'm doing this one now. Um, it's just a simple video on how to change the drive belt in your vacuum cleaner. And loads and loads and loads of vacuum cleaners end up going to the tip because people don't know how to change the drive belt. And when it snaps, the brush roll stops turning or it gets loose, it doesn't have to snap, it can just get loose because it stretches and the brush roll won't turn efficiently as the, when it's in the upright position and the brushes aren't touching the carpet, the brush roll will turn fine. And as soon as you lower the cleaning head and the brushes touch the carpet, it will just stop turning because the drive belt's loose. And that's what I've usually found anyway. So today's video is how to replace the belt. Um, this goes for most vacuum, well, most upright vacuum cleaners, I should say, saying that some of the newer ones that have all this swivel action, like the Dyson Ball, they use um, a twin motor design, which means that you can't just change the belt. So there's a motor driving the brush roll, but that is a whole different kettle of fish. Today's video is just a simple belt change on a simple design of vacuum cleaner. Um, you have seen this vacuum cleaner before, I had to think then. Um, I've done a video of it when I got it from the tip. You've, you've, you've seen it then. Um, I've done the video showing it on and showing the suction and just going through it before I'd refurbished it. Just showing you how it worked. So now I'm doing it up. This is one of the things it needs. I've had the um, sole plate off before. And I did find out the belt had stretched, but I didn't have any Turbo Power 2 belts on me, so I didn't fit one, so I left the old one on. And plus, I'll show you what I mean when I say a stretched belt now. Well, I didn't think I had any Hoover Turbo Power 2 belts on me, I should say, and then I found this one in my spares box, which is new, so it should fit. And we'll see if it goes then, which is no reason why it shouldn't. So, the first thing you want to do to change the belt is remove the sole plate. Some vacuum cleaners you remove the hood, but on this particular machine you remove the sole plate. Before I show you that though, just remember, I'll show you it running and I'll show you what I mean about how easy it is to stop the belt. So if we turn the machine on, it looks like it's running fine, but then you can do this. So as you can see, those are typical symptoms of a stretched belt. The brush roll working fine and then shutting off as soon as any pressure, well not sh shutting off, just being strained, as soon as any pressure is put on it, it just stops because the belt's that, that loose around the motor pulley that it just doesn't turn. So what you should always do before you attempt any work, as I'm sure you'll find in the instructions, it's probably printed on the bottom of this cleaner is remove it from the socket before starting any work because then there's an absolutely no chance of it turning on. Um, obviously I know what I'm doing so I could do this with it plugged in but it's always best not to because for me it's more of a shock because if you're moving things around and you accidentally turn the machine on, I know what I'm doing so I probably won't get an electric shock but I would get the fright of my life when the machine turned on as I was working on it which isn't good at all. <laughs> Although I could get my fingers stuck in the belt, or whatever, just unplug the machine, I always do. So, it's three screws on this one to take the um, sole plate off or base plate, whatever you want to say. The Phillips screws, so we'll take this one off, one at the top, and there's one here at the bottom. And there's one on the other side. Oh, that clean has got an air freshener in, it smells lovely, and just smell it now. Just from when it was on then, the air freshener's come through. Right, so, there are your three screws that you want to keep safe later. They're all the same size, so don't worry about losing them. Um, when you've done that, you can just pull off the base plate. This one latches off like that, apparently. The one thing I did notice, the one fault with this machine, apart from the smashed carry handle, is unfortunately 
that has snapped there but that doesn't it's not an essential it's just a brush roll guard it doesn't really do much so it's not the end of the world so with that over there this is the inside of the machine and you can now see the belt here this is the stretched belt and I'll show you when I take it off we'll compare it to the new one and you will see there is no comparison you'll be able to tell it's stretched so what you can do which I'm not going to do um, because I want to show you them both next to each other so you can see which is the stretched one but what I sometimes do is just cut it off it's just easier than fiddling getting it around the belt spindle but obviously because I want to show you it I'm not going to cut it off but what you can do is for you at home just changing the belt now and just cut the old one off but first what you need to do is put your hand around the brush roll like this. This one just lifts out, so it will just come out like that. And there's the Hoover activator brush roll, as well as the brushes. They're very good at edge cleaning brushes on this as well. It's also got the little activator bumps which beat the carpet. It's not as good as the older brush rolls, but it still does a great job compared to some of the new cleaners of today. So, there we go, just took the old one off, I just unhooked it from the motor spindle. So there is the stretched belt, so if I put the stretched belt here, is that on camera? Yes it is, and I get the new one and put it next to it, you can see that it's stretched. It's a lot smaller, this one will fit inside that one probably, and it does, so there you go. You can see straight away which the knackered belt is. Hmm. So when this new belt's on, it will be the brush roll will probably spin faster actually as well, and it will take a lot more force to stop it when it's had a new belt. I, I showed you me putting my hand in front of it then, and the brush roll stopping. I'm going to show you that again towards the end of the video without hopefully getting my fingers caught in it, and I'll show you that it won't stop. But as you could see before, it stopped really easily. Now, I'm using a genuine Hoover belt. People say always use the genuine spares, but really, I don't bother. I tend to find the pattern ones are just as good. Um, but interestingly, there's no Hoover markings on that, so this might have had a belt change before. Anyway, there's the old belt that can go in the bin. And here's the new one. So what you want to do first is you want to get it over the motor spindle. And I don't know, well my camera won't see right the way down there, plus it's dark in, in there, so I can't really show you in that tiny space. And you just want to hook it over the spindle like that. I don't know how good that picked up on camera, but there's just a little metal rod sticking out from the motor, and you want to hook the belt over that. You can see mine's on, because when I'm moving it, it's moving the machine. And then... Um, making sure you've got the brush roll the right way around. This one will only go in one way. Um, so you obviously want it in the right way, which is that way. And you can tell this is the right way because there's the little clear smooth patch which the belt runs around. So what you can do is you can put the brush roll on the belt like that. And then what you have to do, making sure these are aligned. So those little slots correspond to there so you've got to make sure you get them in properly otherwise the brush roll won't sit in um that one's circle so that's not too much of an issue but this one is an oblong so i'll have to try and align that so what you have to do it's a bit tricky you have to try and align this shape with that so it slots in as well as stretch the belt so it fits where it should and as this is a new belt this is going to be quite hard so without trying to get in your way too much so you can see what's going on. There we go. That's gone in. So that is how to change the belts on a Hoover Turbo Power. Well, this Pacific model is a Turbo Power 2 Auto Sense. Well, it's a Turbo Power 1000, but anyway, that doesn't matter. That's how you change the belt. And what you should always do after you change the belt is centre it to make sure it doesn't rub against any of the plastic walls next to it. So to centre a belt, all you do is you turn the belt towards the cleaner. That's all you do. And it balances it out so it will work just right when the machine's turned on. 
because this is the way the brush roll turns so all the brushes pick up the muck they throw it towards the suction duct and the muck gets sucked into the bag so that will be centered just fine now so going back over here and getting the sole plate that then there's a lip on this one there's a fine lip and there's a few clips on here so you want to make sure that you put the lip under the clips and then the sole plate will go on. I don't know if I did that right that time. There we go, that's under. So, you need to get the screws and what else do I need? The screwdriver. And all you have to do now is put the screws back on the same as before as when we took them off so it's not going to take me this long because there's only three some machines can have six or seven screws but this one's got three and the last one over here right so that's that that sole place is now fitted securely back onto the machine so I shall turn it on again and you'll be able to see now that when I put my hand in the way, the brush roll won't stop. So plugging it back into the wall to give it a test, I will now turn the machine on and we'll see what happens. That lovely air freshness coming out of it again. It smells lovely, that. Right, so, as you can see, it was working as it was before, but when I put my hand in front of the brush roll and put some pressure on it, it didn't stop. It carried on turning, which is what you want. So, that is a successful belt change, and that's all there is to it. So, once you've done that, obviously, you can pick your machine back up. I had it laid down so you could see the underneath. And you can continue your vacuuming or whatever you were doing before. God, it's not really in shot, that is it? That's rubbish. And well, that's a bit more in It's not all going to be in shot, but there we go anyway. So thank you for watching this video. I hope someone finds it useful. Obviously, I know the collectors watching won't. <laughs> they'll just be watching it to see what I'm up to. They won't find it useful because they'll know all about belts and bags and Hoover Turbo power 1000s whatever it is um but yeah i hope someone out there sees this and thinks thank god just a simple video on how to change a belt which is what i'm after so thank you for watching this video and i shall see you on the next adventure woohoo goodbye for now